Hey everyone, welcome back to the Apple Talks. So today we are going to see how we can actually install the application into your personal iPad or iPhone without enrolling for the $99, $99 program. Yes, that is indeed possible. Let's take a look how it works. This is the official link from the Apple where it says what membership you have to choose according to your requirement. So first let's directly go here, Apple developer program and do you know the pricing? Oh my god, it's $99. This is too much and I'm not gonna go for that. I think you should also not go for that unless and until you have specific required to do it. So let's see here what it has to say. There is an option called sign in with your Apple ID. It means you need to use your personal Apple ID uh, to the Xcode and also to the device that you are gonna installing. For the example, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using my iPhone 12 and my MacBook Pro. So I have same Apple account available in my iPad, uh, sorry, in my iPhone 12 and into the my MacBook Pro. Now let's take a look at the options that are available with us. The first one is Xcode Developer Tools, Xcode Beta Releases, On Device Testing, Apple Developer Forums, Bug Reporting with Feedback Assistant and this is all available in free. So that is true. Now let's take a look how actually this is done. Let me go to the Xcode. Let me create a new project. You're gonna say it like P down testing. These are all settings. We don't need to update those as of now. Let me store it to my directory now let's go to the storyboard let me add some labels let's add a value iPhone And I think we should also uh, let's not give it the width and that should be fine. Hi there, Apple Talks. Now what you need to go, you need to click here. You can see this is the general time and this is the sign-in capabilities. It says signing for free account requires developer team because I have not set developer team. But now I'm gonna show you how it is actually done. This is required. So we can see in the sign in and capabilities that how actually it is done. There's an option to do the automatically management of sign up. Then we have the teams pop up. Then this is my bundle identifier. And it says the provisional profile does not exist because we have not enrolled for $99 PD program. Therefore, we don't have the provisional profile and uh, developer certificate. But we don't need to worry. Now let's directly go to the here. I'm going to go to the expert preference. I'm going to select my own. Oh, this is my personal account. This is my session has been expired, but that is fine because I have already pulled up that. So you just need to add your Apple account here. Go to here, go to the teams. I'm going to select this. This is Pulkit Vora, my personal team. It is again saying unable to sign in because my session has been expired. So let me again sign in. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I have successfully signed into the my account. If you are already logged in and your account session has been older than the one month, then your session would be automatically expired and you will need to re log in. So now I have successfully logged in to the Xcode and I have selected my personal team here. And now it says Xcode Manage Profile, Apple Developer. Now let's step here. Now this is all the details. So this is the details that is seen as mentioned here. So now let's step here and select my device that is Polkit's iPhone. Now you guys won't be able to see it. So let me go to the quick time player, sorry. And then just do the screen sharing. It's gonna be my movie recording. And I'll have to select my iPhone.
okay so it is here now let me just make sure my app because are not connected to the iphone so okay so now i think you can see the my screen let's go let's run the app okay so uh we are getting error here like could not launch the account okay and in my phone it's doing us error like the developer is untested because we still have to do one thing now as we are able to install the app here but we are unable to run because we, we need to give a trust factor to the world so let's go to the setting then let's you need to go to the general then make sure you are opening this vpn and device management where we are about to go into the device management now you can see here the developer app which is apple developer pullkit.apple now the basically os is instructing us that one of the organization has installed the application to your phone but that is not verified by apple because we are not using the 99 dollar paid account so you just have to go here and tap on trust it will ask you to trust great you are done let me again reinstall so great guys it was very easy and very quick to do i'm sure you will do it now and you don't and it will save you at least 99 dollars so make sure to like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much